Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Lakeland Antique Mall. This is probably the best antique store in the whole entire world, especially if you love Disney and theme parks because they literally have ride vehicles from some of our favorite attractions for sale. I always say it's like a museum that it's free to go to and you're allowed to shop. So I figured I'd come on down and we do some shopping and learn about the history of the parks and then probably go out and get something to eat. So we're gonna do some shopping, browse around the antique mall and have a beautiful shopping kind of day anywho's let's go do this and here it is the lakeland antique mall this is just about 40 minutes from walt disney world and they have amazing disney props and memorabilia in fact it looks like they have a horse carriage from disney outside right now look at this this is a horse carriage from disney's port orleans this is just so cool the fact that they have a port orleans original carriage used at the resort and there's a picture of the carriage right there and uh it says come inside and make an offer how much would you pay for a horse carriage from Disney? I mean, that's, that's kind of a rare find right there. I am sure a lot of people probably would pay a couple hundred, even thousand dollars for a carriage from Walt Disney World. And you'll see when we get in there, there's a bunch of different items, things you can get for a couple of dollars and then big ticket things like Disney ride vehicles. They actually have ride vehicles from attractions in here that can go for thousands of dollars. A lot of this stuff belongs in a museum, I feel like, but I'm happy that it's here at an antique mall so that we can buy it or at least look at it. Take a look at all of these amazing items. As soon as you walk in the door, you have some ride vehicles, like I mentioned. You can actually buy a Disney attraction ride vehicle. They have Space Mountain over here, Goofy sitting there. And then look at this, this is really cool. And I, I first thought this was a like a little cutoff from the Alice in Wonderland ride at Disneyland, but this is from the castle. It's from the 50th anniversary. They had the characters like up on the castle on the scrim there and you can see a better picture of it. That is so cool. I don't see a price. I think a lot of this stuff you probably have to make an offer. I would assume a couple thousand dollars for that. Oh, is it there? $35,000. Wow. <laughs> $35,000 is a lot of money, but you have to realize that that is such a rare thing to find. And you also have to realize that there are people out there that would buy it. Like if they had $35,000, they probably would pick that up in a heartbeat. And I'm not too sure how long that one has been here. The other vehicle has been here for a while, so nobody's bought them yet, but who knows, one day they might be gone and might be in someone's backyard. This booth up front has so many amazing things. I can't wait to actually show you. First, we'll talk about some of the cool jackets they have here. A lot of these are Imagineering jackets from Walt Disney Imagineering, $395, but look at the back of it. Isn't that so cool and retro? And even this one right here, I think is amazing. Look at this Fort Wilderness one. I absolutely love this. That is such a great jacket. That one's probably about the same price. And they have a, like almost something for every single park. Right here is the grand opening of the Universe of Energy, Ellen's Attraction. And then, oh, Alien Encounters team member jacket right there. That one was really cool. We'll dive in, I wanna show you a little more, but this right here I wanted to point out, this is a window from Main Street USA. As you're walking down and you're looking at the castle, along your left and right is lined with windows dedicated to a lot of people uh, you know, that helped with Disney and uh, you can actually own one of them. That's crazy. $5,000 to own a window from the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> and then they have literally just display cases full of other really cool treasures. They have thorns from Splash Mountain from the Briar Patch there. The window on Main Street belonged to Bob Phelps, I think his name is. And he was the president of garments at the Magic Kingdom. He designed all of the outfits for the Hall of Presidents. And it was above the uh, hat shop there. And it's just such a cool thing. Can you imagine saying that you own a window from Main Street USA? I mean, I, and I don't know how it got here. I mean, everything that you can purchase down here, you can always check to see if it has a COA. And a lot of the vendors work with Disney themselves. So there's there's definitely a lot of ways you can authenticate anything and most of the items like I said will come with all the proof right there. Proof is in the pudding. 
the Lakeland Antique Mall has a lot of different vendor booths and it's pretty massive in here. So I'm gonna make my way through the aisles and point out some of the cool things I see. One of the awesome things I noticed right here is the Keebler Elf. Look at this, there's a Keebler Elf mask. $499 for that. I think that's so cool. His name was Ernie. I never knew that. And then they have other things other than Disney and theme park props. I mean, it is an antique mall, so you'll never know what you find in here. They have a cabinet of horrors over there with a bunch of dolls, a big dragon. I love it in here. Like I said, you can just kind of get lost by just roaming around, checking out all the cool things. You'll also find a lot of really cool Disney artwork in here. And uh, before I was talking about certificates of authenticity, the best thing about some of this artwork is it comes with the little golden stamp on the back of the pictures. And this is uh, basically your COA. This is an original hand-painted celluloid drawing actually used in the Walt Disney production. And on the back of them, they actually have it so that you can see it. Right there, it's a gold plate. And they used to sell a lot of artwork with this little stamp at Disneyland and Disneyana. And I think this is so cool. Like, look at this one right here. A woozle. And this is from Winnie the Pooh, the actual Mooney. You can actually own one of the woozles from the film. $750. Look at this one, a Pooh and Tigger. $1,400 right there. It's pretty pricey, but pretty cool. And you can also find a lot of little name tags. You know what I mean? So if you ever want to be a cat, oh, look, at there's a Galaxy Edge one right there for Israel. And then John right here. I'm looking at all the different ones. I can never find a Nate. They always uh, end up going away. Oh, Chris, Christina. And these cost about $25. You can find your name along with some buttons. So far from everything that I've seen just as we walked in, I mean, obviously I'd love to pick up some of those jackets or I would love the Main Street window because I think that's just like iconic. But let me know in the comments what you would like to buy. Like if, if you had unlimited resources and you can get anything that I show you today, uh, let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear some, you know, I'd love to hear some people's answers. And if you're interested in purchasing anything, you can always actually call the Lakeland Antique Mall or reach out to any of the vendors like Vault Collectibles and recycling the magic and uh, they could probably uh, put some things to the side for you and I'll put all of the information in the description below so that if you want to buy some you can check it out they also have props from Universal Studios look at back here they have this beautiful Universal Studios Florida sign that's a uh, 700 maybe 800 dollars I think it says 799 and then they have a Jurassic World tribute store sign this is the sign from that actual tribute store and I think that is uh, $2,500 that's not too bad and a lot of Halloween Horror Nights props they actually have a lot of the pumpkins the like uh, scavenger hunt they had in the park look at all of these guys this is so cool looking I can't read some of them they have a haunted mansion plaque over there that guy looks pretty scary I love all of these. They were scattered around the park and uh, Universal Studios would give you like a little map and you'd go around and try to find them. And it was so cool. And I'm, I'm, it's so awesome that they're here now. You have tons of Shrek props from when Shrek 4D shut down. Look, they still have the Shrek 3D glasses right there you can buy. Oh, and look at the Scooby-Doo. This is so cool. I love these. Oh, look, you can see Pinocchio up there too. Like I said, you'll never know what you'll find here. The sign from Shrek looks cool. Want it. Evil Fairies Reward. Jurassic Park 30th anniversary there. A lot of the boots are kind of broken off by uh, like different areas. So like you have the Universal stuff uh, over there and then you have the resort furniture, like the Disney Resort pillows and furniture and artwork all over here. And you can kind of just browse around and look for things from your favorite resort. When Shrek 4D closed at Universal Studios and they replaced it with the new Minion ride, most of uh, the attraction actually ended up here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. And they got some good pieces still left over. The big like animatronics from La Pre Show, like they had a Pinocchio that his nose was actually growing whenever they talked to him because he was lying. That uh, ended up here too. And then I think Taylor from the Orlando Informer actually ended up buying it. And look at this panel right here. This is from the attraction itself claws and then liar liar and this is eight hundred dollars for this and it's huge and they have so many just like scattered around like if you walk into the lakeland antique mall and you're like oh what's back here you got a bunch of furniture you got a roller ball little uh 
game right there. And then a zebra carpet. And then look, a lot more Shrek stuff in the back here. You got donk bow. You'll hurl in your teacups when you ride. It's kind of a play on Dumbo and teacups at Disney. And then they have the enchanted tick room. Look at this. That is such a cool piece. I love these. I'm not even sure how, oh, down here we got a little sign. $3,500 for this. Man, that's so cool though. All of these are just universal playing, playing jokes on uh, Disney. And now I'm in between two uh, clothes racks. I feel like a kid again, hiding from my mom at Ames in between the circle racks. You ever do that when you were a kid? I used to run in between there and like hide in there, just like this. Oh, and I'm a Mandalorian now. <laughs> On top of all of the cool artwork, you can also find some really nifty advertisements. Like look at this Coca-Cola vending machine panel. It's got Cinderella Castle right in the front there. I mean, I would buy a panel, look at it. $265, I think that's so cool. And then anyone that loves the Disney store and the back here at Recycling the Magic, they have tons of uh, Disney store figurines. In fact, the whole back wall is covered with them. Look at this whole entire area right here. I love it. You got Walt up there in the train. You can see Scrooge and Donald, something from every single movie uh, Disney has ever made. And, you know, it's kind of cool. You can come shop around. You can even find cool little knickknacks, little knickknacks like this. Look at that. It's an MGM Studios patch, $25. And then they have a bunch of different other ticket, uh, tickets, a no strings attached pass. So that's what I was talking about. There's definitely something for everyone. I'm not looking to buy anything like super pricey. I'm looking for just some cool little things I can put around my house. But if something catches my eye that I can't resist, I mean, I can't resist. Like I said, there's so many amazing things. And uh, me being like a big Disney theme park, you know, fan, this is like the perfect place. Like I said, this is why I think it's the greatest antique mall out there. Take a look at all of the figurines up there. These were all in the Disney stores uh, from around the country. And it's pretty amazing. And they, uh, they go for anywhere from like $3,700 up to $16,000. It depends on how many they are. Like I remember going into the Disney store when I was younger and I would just look at all of these figurines. I think that is just so cool. And they even have a Buzz Lightyear Ranger uh, uh, Astro Blaster uh, park ride vehicle. Well, this is just the panel. I've seen this here before. It's really cool. $7,500 for that. How cool is it that we got the Disney store back? I mean, we're not getting like the physical locations. Well, maybe, you never know. Uh, but I remember, like I said, growing up and going to the Disney store, seeing all these figurines in the store. And recently, Shop Disney switched over to the Disney store. And they went back to that name. And I think that's cool. I mean, I would be honored to have any of these from the Disney store. They even have a boo up there. I really didn't notice this until uh, I just looked up again, and there are so many different characters up there. You've got Abu, you got Belle, you even have a beast bust. A beast bust. <laughs> and then, of course, Pluto, Bambi. There's literally Mickey riding Bambi up there. That is so cool. And I like how they have them up so high, too, because you get a good look at all of them. And I've seen a couple of them around here, too, that were awesome. Look at the Chip and Dale they have over in this corner, a little cutout. All of these signs just get me excited. They also have a wrap gift for Toy Story, and this is when the movie first came up or when it wrapped up, they gave out the gifts uh, to the cast members that worked on it. And it's really cool because it has all of the toys from the movie in there. You're gonna help me open it? Look at that. Oh, and they're all brand new sealed too. Bucket of Soldiers, Mr. Potato Head. That is so cool. So this is from when Toy Story came out. Oh wow, the Etch-A-Sketch, the original, the only, only. And then you got Buzz in there and Woody. Wow, this is just so amazing. Oh, you get saved $4. <laughs> I love that. It's such a cool little gift. So like they put these together for the people that worked on it as kind of like a congratulations or you know wrap up like, you know, and oh, there's the Woody. Wow. Does he pull? Is he got the pull string? Oh, wow. And all of this, how much is this? 13 or? 13.95. 13.95. Honestly, I wonder how much the toys are 
kind of uh, going for on their own. You get a package deal here. That Toy Story box is so cool. So when we were talking, it's like a wrap up, uh, wrap up gift. So when a movie uh, finishes and wraps up their filming, uh, they usually give gifts to the people that work closely. There's only 50 of those boxes, 50 of them. I'm sure Tom Hanks got one maybe and Tim Allen. You know what I mean? Like think about that. And it was really cool because on the side of the box, it had an Etch-A-Sketch and that's where they would put the name of the cast member that worked on the project. And I'm just thinking like maybe the toys are worth like money on their own like it's cool that it's actually like a box from the you know the disney but like just having an original buzz lightyear and an original woody in there i feel like those things kind of add up and make it valuable on its own i don't think i'd ever separate them though shockingly i think the most expensive items in this whole entire antique mall are right in this glass case down here and it's cool because they have some lion king mask actually kind of protecting it these are 165 dollars for these uh lion king show mask look at that isn't that so cool but down below this is where all the money is. You can see right here on this little doll. This is a Walt Disney autograph Snow White doll. It actually has Walt's autograph right here on the leg. And this is $12,500. And then over here is uh, the prop apple from uh, Snow White's Scary Adventure in Disneyland. You know how the witch turns around and she's holding the apple? That's two grand. That's two grand, but I think it's so cool. And then Pluto's collar. If found, please return to Mickey Mouse. That is $5,000. And then they have a Pleasure Island hat. Look at this Adventurers Club hat too. I'm not even sure how much this is. Oh, 1995. And then they have the sold out nights from Pleasure Island on New Year's Eve. 1995, this is the event when it was sold out. And then 1994 there, $195 both, but I think that's so cool. Like all of this stuff is, I keep looking around. I think these are some parade outfits here at the top. Wow, you can actually see it there. That is too amazing. Goofy there. Sometimes you have to pull out little drawers to find some of the artwork because they keep it in here uh, so that it's, you know, protected a little bit better. But take a look at some of these. These are uh, backstage like uh, flyers and advertisements. This one is Season's Greetings from Cast Costuming. It's Figment and Mickey, look at that. 1982, that is such a cool little thing. I always like stopping and pointing out Melly's Remark. Uh, I always like stopping and pointing out Melly's Remark it because she makes some amazing Disney uh, like home decor. You can see all these pictures. These are all her artwork and designs and stuff like that. And I think it's so cool. And even look at these Haunted Mansion end tables. I mean, she basically just took a fancy end table and made it even cooler. Foolish Mortals Tiki style. How cool is that? Dang, $430, but that is so beautiful. Even with the paint there, I tell ya. Oh, and look at the Alice picture and even the little window with the Haunted Mansion, uh, the stretching portraits. That's such a cool concept, $225 for that. I love it. She's really, really talented. Even little Figment too. I came across this really awesome booth called Nostalchics, and I can tell just by the Disney sing-along songs, the VHSs in the back here, they probably have some really cool items. I've never seen a Woody Tigger before though. Look at that. Oh, we got a Barney lunchbox there too. I don't know how much the Woody Tigger is. That is just such a cool thing. Sheriff Tigger. I mean, it's not Woody. I think it was just a sheriff, but it just looks like Woody. And I mentioned the Disney sing-along, but take a look at the shirts. These are so cool and retro. Like, look at this Nickelodeon one. And then, look at this. Universal, an American tale, Fievel Goes West. A little small, but very cool, though. Big kids. Beethoven. Look at this Universal Studios Florida one with Barney on it, that one's really cool. Nickelodeon Studios production, Teletubbies. I think this is something like, honestly, I love old theme park shirts. And this is all, oh, look at that. Just like that sign over there. I really love that sign. That is just too cool. Oh. Now that is a beaut. $40 for that though. The shirts go from anywhere from 40 to $60 because, you know, they're kind of old and rare. $35 for the Ren and Stimpy one. Even this Fievel one right here. 
$65 for that one. I bet you you can find some of them laying around at your grandma's house. I'm starting to get the itch because I can't stop staring at that Universal Studios Florida sign. I think it is just so beautiful. I love that whole design and to see something like that is just so cool. $800 for it, but like, I, can, I already know the perfect place I wanna put it. I'd love to put it right above my TV so it looks like it's like above the TV, Universal Studios, you know? Man, I, am, I might have to wait though. Might have to, you know, I just bought a home. So maybe one of these days I'll come back. If not, somebody probably will buy it. I could tell you that, because a lot of this stuff comes and goes quick. Well, there's definitely a lot of good stuff that we can just look at, but I'm not finding anything that I kind of want to take home with me today. So I think uh, we'll just uh, probably wrap up here, make our way back towards uh, uh, home and uh, maybe look around a little more or get something to eat or hang out, do something fun. I wanted to stop back at the house to check on Gracie, girl. Gracie, what are you doing up there? You want breakfast? You want lunch? Dinner? Yeah! Woo! 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 You want dinner? Woo! -hoo -hoo. Gracie has a lot of words that she automatically knows just by when I tell her. So if I say, Gracie, you want breakfast? <gasps> breakfast, lunch, or dinner? She, her ears perk up. She gets excited. She knows. And that's by, you know, repeating the same words every time you feed. Well, every time I feed her. So every time I feed Gracie, I say, you want breakfast? Uh, you want lunch? You want a treat? You want... <laughs> I'm all out of pup cakes and I was thinking maybe we'd go over to Disney Springs and uh, I'd pick up some pup cakes for Gracie later on tonight. But I'll give her a little cookie out of my cookie jar. <gasps> you want this, Grace? <laughs> yeah, it's good. Now that we're back home, like I said, I think I'm going to go get something to eat. Maybe head on to Disney Springs or one of the resorts. Wouldn't mind picking up Gracie a pup cake. I just need, you know, I just figured I didn't want to end the video. And since it's still daytime, might as well just take it on into the night. I decided on making a trip over to Disney Springs to probably do a little more shopping and maybe get a bite to eat. It's such a beautiful evening out right now. Honestly, I love coming to Springs later on uh, at night when it's a lot cooler and the sun is starting to set, the lights are turning on, and oh, actually, they even have the drone show, too. Oh, maybe uh, we'll uh, be able to watch the drone show. I'm not too sure when it starts, but I mean, uh, if we're here, I'd love, to, I'd love to show you guys. It's a really cool show. It looks like the drone show is at 9 p.m. So it'll give us enough time to go grab a quick bite to eat and maybe uh, shop around the world at Disney and uh, see if we find anything fancy or something cool for the new house. I've been craving some pizza and I figured I'd stop up to Pizza Ponte. It's my favorite pizza in Florida and it's pretty amazing. Pretty big slices too. They also have a new house-made garlic cheese pinwheel. Look at this pinwheel right here. Man, that looks so good. All of the pizza here is good, but I go for the pepperoni and the big Roman. This one I see a lot of people get and they love it. I ended up getting one of the pepperoni and then one of the big Roman. Look at that. These slices are so huge. I love this pizza. Look at it. Oh, look at that fold. Oh, it's got a good under crust, under carriage. Oh, I'm going to fold the box over so I can eat on top of it. I love it when you use a, a, a pizza box as a plate. There we go. Look at that. You got some live entertainment here at the Springs. I might just hang out here and eat my pizza. Look at them. I was eating my pizza by Disney style and I wanted to pop in real quick. I got a lot of villain stuff. Look at Hades there. Even the backdrop all changed the villains there. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, and look at all of the Monsters, uh, Monsters Inc. Uh, merchandise. They're getting ready. Oh, I like this hat actually too. This is kind of cool. And they've got a Monsters University lounge fly. A lot of other cool shirts. I wish they would make I wish they would sell Roosevelt's in here because that would be cool. 
I know they've got some monsters and this Halloween shirt that I have is one of the new spooky collection. I'm excited for the new land though. I feel like the Marvel superhero headquarters really doesn't get a lot of love. I know that they have a lot of new Scarlet Witch merchandise. I've seen this actually in the parks. It actually looks really cool. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to a fancy little red. Oh, but look at this awesome like retro Avengers Earth's Mightiest Hero shirt. Look at this. I like this a lot. That's actually a cool little shirt. And they even have a Captain America fanny pack. I'm basically just shopping around now, waiting for the drone show to start. Uh, I think it starts at 9 o'clock. We only have like 10 minutes. Look at this shirt. Genius billionaire philanthropist. I love it. It's just about that time for the drone show, so we're going to have to go and find our spot. It gets very congested once you get down near AMC, and that's where we're going to go watch it from. So we'll probably just jump right on into the show. I don't know why Paradise Hotel 37 doesn't do like a special viewing area for the drone show with their outdoor area here. In fact, you could probably get a good seat if you go to Jock Lindsay's hangar bar here and sit on the balcony there because the drone show is going to be happening right here and down there you have the balloon that kind of blocks it so this is probably one of the best seats in the house i wonder if we can get a table i think we might have just discovered a little hack here not this time it looks like the wait's probably like 20 30 minutes and i think the show's starting in 10 so we gotta get to the show I wasn't able to make it all the way down to the viewing area, so I decided to just stop here and show you guys. It looks like they're on the Guardian section right now. It actually looks really cool from back here. Yo, look at Buzz Lightyear blasting off. Oh. There's Mary Poppins right there flowing up in the sky. That's kind of cool. I love that drone show. Sadly, I don't know how long it's going to be around for. I think they definitely need a drone show in the Magic Kingdom in the future because Disneyland Paris is just so amazing. But who knows? Maybe you never know in the future, you know? I wanted to rush over and see if I can get some cupcakes for Gracie before Sprinkles closes. And look at the beautiful springs. Nice blue springs with sprinkles in the background there. I like it. It looks very cool here. They got a line inside, so I think I'm going to use the Cupcake ATM. Oh, wait a second. The Cupcake uh, ATM's down. The goods have been obtained, and now it's time to go home and see Gracie Girl. I'm going to give her a Cupcake, and I actually got one of the special Cupcakes. Normally, I don't like to eat Cupcakes with Cupcakes with Gracie, but tonight... I'm going to make an exception. I think we might have a Pupcake Cupcake sit down. And with that, we are back home. Gracie's got her Pupcake. I got my Cupcake. You want this? Come on. I'll set it right here. Hmm? I thought we were going to eat our Cupcakes together. She ran away. <laughs> I really wanted to have a little Cupcake Pupcake sit down with Gracie, but... She ate her pup cake in probably one second. So I guess I'm eating alone tonight. And with that, I think we are done here today. I like Sprinkles Cupcakes. I just get their regular Sprinkles, like original one. But I think their pup cakes are the best-selling items. And I had a lot of fun. We went to uh, Disney Springs, got to hang out a little bit, go to the Antique Mall. It's really cool living, like I said, down in, you know, like Disney or Central Florida. Because you have so many things that you can do throughout the day. And it's just like you can bounce from one thing to the, uh, the next. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!